One of the largest expenses for most households after the cost of housing is transportation. Vehicles provide an important function, but they're also often purchased as positional goods, goods that enhance social status. Luxury vehicles are the obvious example. They still get you from A to B, but they also signal wealth or status. Empirically, we know that people get satisfaction from goods not only based on their absolute qualities, but on their qualities relative to what other people have. There are a couple of problems with positional goods. People tend to adapt to their circumstances, so an exciting new purchase may not be exciting for long, and the people around us are also seeking out positional goods. A fancy car feels less fancy when your friend gets a nicer one, and people are in a subconscious arms race to have the nicest stuff. This hedonic treadmill of conspicuous consumption is difficult to escape. An important question is whether people with luxury vehicles actually enjoy their vehicles more. I'm Ben Felix, Portfolio Manager at PWL Capital, and I'm going to tell you why luxury vehicles are more enjoyable to think about than to own. In a 2011 paper, Schwartz and Zhu find that while people imagine enjoying the experience of driving luxury vehicles more than economy vehicles, their actual experience driving is not different. They ask people how they think they would feel driving a luxury vehicle, and they ask luxury vehicle owners how they feel when they're driving. And in both cases, respondents in their sample report feeling more positive emotions with more expensive vehicles, and increasingly so with the price of the vehicle. But the actual experience of people driving luxury and economy vehicles is not different. This makes sense. People tend to be bad at predicting how they will feel in the future, and bad at remembering how they felt in the past. In both cases, the tendency is to evaluate events more positively than they are actually experienced. Schwartz and Zhu demonstrate this by collecting episodic data on how people feel when driving immediately after they finish a drive and without reference to the type of vehicle they drive. They find that vehicle price is thoroughly unrelated to the driver's affective experience. This is important. If you think about a luxury vehicle that you want, or one that you have, you'll probably think about all the good things about it. But when driving a vehicle, your affective experience is shaped by the mundane issues of daily life, not the attributes of the car. How you feel driving will depend on things like the purpose of the trip, the traffic, or the screaming kids in the back seat. Due to a phenomenon called focalism, people imagine the luxury aspects of a vehicle when they're asked about it, but when they're driving the vehicle, they're thinking about getting to their destination on time, avoiding traffic, or keeping the kids calm. Given that luxury vehicles do not provide a more positive psychological experience while driving, a more general question is whether people with luxury vehicles are happier. In the 2015 paper, luxury car owners are not happier than frugal car owners. <laughs> the authors find what the title says. The wealthiest people in the world are not typically luxury vehicle owners. As documented in Andrew Hallam's 2021 book, Balance, the median cost of vehicles driven by the wealthiest people in the world is 46,000 US dollars. In a 2016 survey documented in the next Millionaire Next Door, the median amount that millionaires paid for their most recent vehicle purchase was $35,000. And the most common makes were Toyota, Honda, and Ford. The problem here is that luxury vehicles are expensive, and money, for most people, is a scarce resource. If owning a luxury vehicle means spending less on things that do tend to make people persistently happy, the net effect on well-being may be negative. Spending to save time, spending on active leisure activities, spending on hobbies, spending on shared experiences with other people, and spending on frequent small pleasures all tend to have positive effects on well-being. Before purchasing a luxury vehicle, I think it makes sense to think about your most recent commute or drive to the grocery store and ask yourself how you felt during that specific episode of driving and whether a luxury vehicle would have changed, or did change if you own one, the experience. I also think it makes sense to ask yourself whether you would still want your luxury vehicle if you lived alone on a desert island, and whether your perception of someone that you admire would change if they drove a more expensive vehicle. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben Felix, Portfolio Manager at PWL Capital. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone who you think could benefit from the information. Hey.